Welcome to the Irish in Europe Art and Photo Exhibition organized by the Irish in Europe Association in association with the Gallery Kinsale. We are here in the historic Hall Songiri that was built in 1881 as a market and for the past 15 years or so it now serves as a cultural centre for the Brussels capital region. It is in the heart of Brussels. It was on this side, it is said, that the original foundations of Brussels commenced with a monastic settlement. It was an island surrounded by waters and in a marsh. Hence, the original name for Brussels is Marsh. And this exhibition is about Cork meets Brussels and Brussels meets Westport. And what is very significant is the original name and the Irish name for Cork is Marsh and it was founded in similar conditions in, in the centre of Cork which was a monastic settlement. We start with this photograph that represents the, the connection with the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Brussels which started in 2009 when we wanted to have some staff or symbol for our first parade Grand Marshal we decided to cut a staff which is called the Ratmullen Bow Staff which was cut from the mountains overlooking Ratmullen in County Donegal when the flights of the Earls left in September 1607 and came to Leuven under the protection of the then Spanish Netherlands government uh, at that time. And also, it was represents the beginning of mass emigration from Ireland. That was 1607. This is a painting of Francis Bacon, a famous Irish artist, which also has an exhibition in the Beaux-Arts, the Francis Bacon exhibition. This was painted by Mia Funk. Uh, Francis Bacon was a very disorganized artist, and you can see how the painting represents the canvas is a bit thwarted, whatever. So he, he spent a lot of his career in London. He, for his first 15 years, he was in Dublin, but to, to the Irish, environment is what influenced his creativity right throughout his life and his connections with Ireland and his studios are still in to be seen in Dublin. Here is something again because this exhibition each year we promote regions in Ireland and one of the regions we promote is Cork and what we wanted to do we commissioned a special painting by Mia Funk to represent the Cork Brussels relationship and we have Jack Brell representing Brussels, the musical heritage, and Rory Gallagher representing the musical heritage of Cork. Two famous artists in their own right, and a painting that has been greatly admired and well received by the people in Brussels and in Cork. This man is Ned Kelly. Now, who is Ned Kelly? Ned Kelly was a member of the Irish diaspora. He was a famous rebel, and uh, he took on those people who were oppressing people in Australia and helped in the independence movement in Australia. He was killed eventually, and it's only recent years that they found his body, his headless body, and he got a proper Christian burial, I think, some months ago in Australia. So that's the famous Ned Kelly with roots from Tipperary. The waves, the light, the combination, sand and rock and waves, the, this is the Irish coast, this is what you experience when you visit Ireland. Bill Griff was born in Cork, he had a, a very um, mixed career, he worked in the Isle Fields, it's my understanding, he's one of the few European artists who ever had the opportunity to paint Fidel Castro, which is very unique. When he was in Iraq during a visit, Fidel Castro hit, he was given this unique opportunity. And this is all because of the good relationships Ireland has with different people around the world, no matter what their background is. Again, it's a mix of colours. There's a touch of William Butler Yeats in this, I think, in some respects, in this tone of painting. But it's a, it's a colourful painting. Again, this is a wonderful use. It captures the tranquility of the Irish countryside, the seascape, the sheep grazing, the ancient cemetery going back thousands of years, and of course the mountains in the distance and the different colours. One thing about Ireland is the multitude of skies, the change in landscape that is affected by the changing colours. This is a typical village scene 
in Enniscrone in the west of Ireland, the village, and it's also by Desmond Downs, typical agricultural village, rural community, rural Ireland, but then with the modern machinery, very expensive tractors, but life goes on in the farming community. T typical sleepy town. I'm sure just around the corner you'll find a nice Irish pub to this garage. This is the night of the tortoise shell and this is by Jimmy Lawler. Again, Jimmy Lawler is another famous Irish artist, very unique. All his paintings are available at the gallery in Kinsale. The gallery in Kinsale is the Ireland's premier gallery in the south of Ireland and you'll be able to enjoy all these paintings. But this is again the serenity and the tranquility of childhood, maybe, escapism, whatever. A very unique painting. This painting was commissioned by the Cork Jazz Festival Committee to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Jazz Festival in Cork. It is a painting of all the famous artists that came to Cork over a 30-year period. I'm sure you'll be able to recognize some. It was commissioned and it was painted by Mia Funk and it now hangs at the Cork Airport and is on loan to the Irish and Europe Art Exhibition on its first visit outside of Ireland to Brussels, the capital of the European Union. The Jazz Festival is held in Cork in the last weekend, Bank Holiday weekend in Ireland. It's a wonderful way to enjoy a festival and you can fly direct now from Brussels to Cork to enjoy that festival. This is an ancient part of old Cork City and it represents the Cork Film Festival. You can see he's carrying his reel of film and he's off to the festival to show and screen his movie. And you can see the, the town dog, the, the watchdog of Cork City, is, is disturbed by this madness of this man and the jolly, the jolly side of the Cork Film Festival, the creative side. Cork people are very creative. And this is been greatly admired by many lady visitors. We've had a lot of inquiries about this painting. It, it, it represents, I suppose, the inner sanctum of the, the, the lady's mind and the means of escape. It's very um, magical. This is an, a very interesting picture. It's called, it's called The Brother. It's by Bill Griffin. It shows, again, someone just relaxing on a vacation and taking it all in. We don't see the bottle of beer or the champagne nearby, but you can see total relaxation, and that's what a holiday is all about. And now this is a painting by Philip Gray, Sundown in West Cork. This is an amazing capturing of how the waves of West Cork and how the, the quietness, the stillness of the sands, you would know that the tide has just gone out and you can see the crashing waves, the surf, and the mist. It's a, it's a wonderful place to be. You'd want to be there. You can see how the family are out there walking, taking it all in. Again, by Philip Gray. This is Rays of Light by Philip Gray. It's in Ireland, but you could, you could be up in the Antarctic. It, it captures the mood of the, of the changing skies. And you can see there's a thunderstorm on its way, or a heavy shower rain, which impacts in all the light on the beach. And this is unique. We have actually had people from the west of Ireland, and they recognize these characters. These are real characters in this painting. And this painting is called The Answer Machine. And I suppose, it represents the transition of rural Ireland, you see the two donkeys, to this mobile vehicle where the dog is still man's best friend, and of course to one senior lady, and they look on in amusement and amazement, and maybe disillusioned by all this modern technology. So that is the answering machine. The St. Patrick's Bridge in Cork, a famous bridge, and this is a picture painting of the River Lee that flows through Cork City. It rises in, a, in an ancient part of Cork. A painting by Anne-Marie Burke. Again, she has a, a distinctive style. She actually order, order, organizes study courses and art, art um, teaching and weekends where you can go to West Cork and enjoy her classes. This is of Baltimore in West Cork. 
This is a famous part of West Cork. There was a famous sacking by African pirates hundreds of years ago, and they took all the village away, many hundred. They sacked the, the village. There still remains a castle. And this here is, again, passing showers, again, showing the little harbour in West Cork and the boating life. This is what people enjoy in West Cork, is the peace, the space to enjoy oneself and just relax and let the wind do the drive in the sails. Now, this is a very interesting painting. This is by Jimmy Lawler, and it's called Leaving It All Behind. Now, what we're talking about here is the evolution of Ireland the old culture, the Catholic dominating Ireland, and going west towards America, emigration, John F. Kennedy in his younger days, showing the opportunities, leaving the, the quiet, peaceful life to the land of opportunity. Very uh, captures the mood of a change in Ireland then. But then it comes with lots of pressures, as, as you can see. Typical Irish scene, and every family where all the, the Wellingtons are outside, the multicultural cultural and multicolored Wellingtons. This has taken lots of ladies by surprise and I think has encouraged lots of ladies to go out and buy a colorful pair of boots for the summer season, just in case. A surreal type painting is called Poles Apart by Jimmy Lawler. And you can see how surreal it is how we all feel we're all floating on the sea, but some of us float higher than others. Again, it has got a lot of attention here at the exhibition. Again, another Philip Gray painting called Caught in the Moment. You can see those waves, how powerful they are. The same waves are on the coast of Ireland where shipwrecks have been done hundreds of years if you've heard of the great Spanish Armada of 1588, it was on rocks like these when the storms came that the ships crashed into and many lives were lost. We have come on Arbor like a tree. This exhibition has been running in parallel with the Irish and Europe Art and Photo Exhibition. As part of the cultural exchange program, the Irish and Europe Association are pleased that this exhibition now is going to Cork and is going to open on May the 9th, Europe Day, and it's going to stay in Cork until the end of June, and then it's going to go to Westport in Ireland and go on tour. This is going to again help build the relationships between Ireland and Brussels. It's a beautiful exhibition and shows Brussels in a different light, not like, as most people think, Brussels in political terms. This shows the green side of Brussels, the urban heritage, the architectural heritage, and the wonderful colours of all the trees. So, if you're going to Ireland and going to Cork, you'll be able to see this exhibition at Cork Airport from the 9th of May 2013.